Kelly. You, you've had a complicated uh, season having to play multiple positions and playing that field end spot a lot. Just what has that adjustment been like and how difficult has it been? Oh, it's been a good adjustment. No difficulty at all uh, with the good coach we have, coaching me up on different techniques from the end spot. And I just, just want to do whatever they tell me to do because like, I feel like I'm that type of player that I can play any position on the field uh, from a D-line standpoint. And just going from technique to technique, it's been a smooth transition. How can you all, as a defense, be better at defending the run? Really just using our techniques, as Coach, uh, coach has been t uh, telling us, and just coming out our hips, playing with good hands, playing with good technique as well. What went through your mind when you saw how many times Syracuse ran the ball last week? I think they ran the ball 65 times. Uh, this is our type of game. Like we all for it. We want to uh, be able to start the run. It's a good challenge for us as a D line, and we're just trying to compete and start the run. Okay. I'm curious. Um, like I think they did that because of injuries, and like right. they're being a little coy about what they're going to do this week. How is how is their offense being presented to you? As far as like I know, they have like the you know they the tight end wildcat and so forth, and a quarterback. Like how what kind of what are what are the coaches saying about here's what we should expect on Saturday out of them? Oh, to stop the run. Stop the run, play physical up front, demand a new line of scrimmage, and just get after them. Yes, sir. Anything else? Kelly? What have you seen from Horace this year? He's really kind of stepped up and, and started to become the player you guys thought he could be. What have you seen from him? Uh, Horace is doing an amazing job. Uh, young guy from last year coming up through the program. Uh, he's been showing flashing so much, whether it's the run game or pass. Like he's he gonna be a good player. Okay. Have you had a tight end wildcat in on scout team? Uh, repeat the question. Have you had a tight end playing quarterback as on your scout team? Uh, nah, not nah. I mean, it's it's mixed. It's mixed. Right, Kelly. Um, as a defensive line, you guys probably want to get to the quarterback a little bit more and get some more tackles for loss. You had a lot of success. It was a Wake Forest game, just kind of compressing the pocket. Right. Is that sort of the blueprint of what you guys want to do when you play a team that runs a lot? Is it just kind of compress things and force action? Uh, that's the blueprint every game. We just want to create not back, create a new line of scrimmage, come out our hills, play with physical uh, hands, and just demand dominance, really. Right. When you had that meeting Sunday night, what went through your mind when Coach brought up the bowl talk for the first time? Uh, it's been it's been one of our goals for so long. Like we we it's in our it's like in our hands. Like we see it, we just got to go attack it. We just got to want it, and just go out and practice every day to get to get that what we want on Saturday. Anything else from the guys? Okay. You touched on a little bit, but just the challenges that you've had defending the run and the way that Syracuse sh showed they could run last week, I guess it, it almost is like a fitting test for you. Like, here's what we can do when we're facing a team that, that that's all they do. Is that sort of how you, you look at this? Like, as far as stopping a run? Right, yeah. Like, this is like the kind of an ultimate test. Like, you can show yourself that we can do and, and in the process go to get to a bowl right. game. Yes, sir, it is. Uh, like I was saying, we just want to create dominance, create dominance throughout the whole – Throughout every game we play, just create a new line of scrimmage coming out of our hills and play with good hands. And we feel like this is one of those games that we can show that and showcase what we have. Anything else? Rob? The, uh, I guess Coach Key talked also about the, the meeting where uh, you guys got excited when you it was brought up that you'd be playing, you know, on a another night game and in reference to the, the you know, North Carolina game. Does, does that guys does does that get you guys uh, pumped up a little bit, or is it uh, you're just going to go through your normal game day procedures? Well, you know everything is a standard. You know you, you got to be ready for the game, of course. But it does add on when we're playing at home a night game, and uh, you know just being around our fans. You know the people that support us and our family here to watch us with a packed stadium again. Uh, you know that adds to it, that adds juice to everybody, energy to everybody. So. Um, you know, 
big night game. It's the one, you know, we can we, we talk about a bowl game. This is this is their game to get a bowl game. So, you know, everything is is the way you want it. So you're at home at night, big crowd, and you know, you essentially got money on the line. So, you know, all the guys are excited, you know, but it's still business as usual. We we gotta go out there and execute and uh play hard. Chad. Yeah, along those same lines, was it sort of a relief from Coach to hear him talk about the bowl game and, like, let's get it out in the open we know what's at stake this weekend? Uh, yeah, kind of. But, um, you know, without the bowl game, you still got to go out there and execute and play hard. So I think whether or not there's a bowl game or not on the line, you still have to do those same things as if, there, you know, there's nothing, there's not a, a bowl game. So, but, I mean, it, it does, it does, you know put a little more to it because, you know, you're, you're playing for something that we haven't had in so long. And uh, I think the last time was, like, my freshman year. So for us, for, like, me and Jalen Keen to leave on that note with another bowl game is big. Has it kind of started to sink into the, the last two games coming up, both at home and both night games, but just – Career's winding down, and, and it's been a long time. Just has it the, any of that started to sink in a little bit with you? It, it actually hasn't. I, uh, I don't know why it hasn't. I, I've asked myself, like, why do you not? I don't know. I guess I just have so much fun, you know, with my teammates, my coaches. Like, I don't really pay attention to, like, it's coming down. We're just out there having fun playing ball. So that doesn't really cross my mind as much as probably it would anybody else because, I'm, you know, I'm doing what I love. And, you know, uh, you know, I'm going to go out here and play these last two games, of course, but also try to put myself in a position to play at the next level. So in my head, you know, I'm, I'm still thinking, like, you know, this is, this is the end of my Georgia Tech story, but, you know, I still want to play football after this. Rob. What are you seeing from the uh, Syracuse run defense? Uh, they do a lot of different stuff uh, up front. Um, a lot of you, you watch the tape on them. You know, it's it's not your orthodox off, uh, defense. So it's just a game we got to go into. You know, we've been playing physical. We've been playing with juice. Now we just have to go in there and just be dialed in on the on the mental things and uh, just be disciplined in what we're taught. Because they they do a lot of a lot of different stuff. And you watch the games like the runs are there, the throws are there. We just got to be ready for all the weird stuff that they do. Charlotte. Is it difficult to strike that balance with the anticipation of Saturday potentially getting in a bowl game and doing the little things like executing and right like you were talking about? Uh, you know, kind of. Uh, I mean, the same things that we we've been coached on all year, the same things we're being coached on this week. So we just do what we're coached to do and, and follow the game plan. You know, then it comes a bowl game. So it, it's really just again, it's just doing what we're coached and just going out there and execute it. And then, you know, you look up and you got a bowl game. It really ain't much to it. Just go out there and play how we know we can play, play together as a team and hard, and then the rest of it will take care of itself. With the way the offense struggled last week, is there a little bit of a chip on your shoulder to, shoulder to kind of right the ship this week and get back on track offensively? Uh, yeah, I feel like last week we, we didn't play up to our potential and, and we didn't play uh, as good as we can as an offense. So this year, you know, uh, this, this week is one of those games where, you know, we got we to, gotta, you know, bring ourselves back and, and show people who we are again in case they forgot. Last week didn't go as planned. A uh, lot of opportunity in this game to do so. So, you know, you go out there and, and dominate on offense how we, how we did, you know, our last home, uh, UNC and uh, – then, you know, going into uh, these, these last games or so, you got that confidence back. Okay. Um, you mentioned, you know, the, the 18 bowl game being the last one. What has it been like the last few years to not be able to go to a bowl game? And, and maybe how does that feed your, your motivation to get, get to one? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's not ideal. I got to experience it my first year of college and then stayed in college a little extra longer just to get this bowl game. So it, I'm ready for it. The team's ready for it. But, I mean, it, it does mean a lot to us, and especially with it being uh, Coach, Coach Key's first uh, actual full year as a head coach. 
I'm sure it mean a lot to him, and I know that he wants to send uh, us older guys out on a good note and uh, give us something that we haven't had. Or like you know, like Dylan, he ha Dylan Leonard, he hasn't had one yet. So just to give us something to to leave on a good note. The running back position, we've seen a you know steady diet of you and and uh, Jamal. Uh, how are, how are some of the younger guys progressing? You know, they're coming along really uh, really good. Um, I'm proud of the boys. They 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 work every day. Um, they work really hard every day, even when they're on uh, the other side of the field. And the scouts, you know, they're they're the ones making the plays and simulating the other team's offense. So they're still getting working down there. But those guys, they they come in. They like to learn. They like to work. And as a leader, you know, that's that's big because I feel like you know. That could be something they took from what I do or uh, with somebody else on the team. So just to see them come day in, day out in a, in a long season, uh, I appreciate those guys for their work. Anything else? Okay. Do you have a most vivid memory from, from the bull trip to, to Detroit? Uh, not really. I didn't, uh, I didn't play in that bowl game. I, I traveled, and it was very fun just, uh, just to travel. That was actually my first time on a plane. Yeah, so I hadn't, I didn't travel at all that season. I traveled for the bowl game, so that was my first time on the plane. It, it, was, it was scary. I ain't gonna, it was scary. <laughs> but I've gotten used to it. But uh, just, you know, being able to go out and walk the city when you're not practicing and, and be with your boys in a in a different area and just join it and know you got a game. Um, you know, it's a, it was it was for sure fun. And I know that you know whatever bowl game that we get, this team, uh, you know, will work, but we'll also have fun. I know it's been a long road. How good did it feel to finally get a touchdown? <laughs> it's good to, you know, check it off the list. It was kind of always a little ongoing, you know, joke in the room. But, uh, you know, obviously it didn't come at a, you know, very, you know, you know uh, special time, per, per se. You know, obviously, you know, we were getting our butt kicked at that point. But, yeah, it's, it's good to check it off the list, no doubt. Chad? A couple of weeks ago, Coach Key came in here and said, you know, you're the true embodiment of Georgia Tech football, and you're probably playing the position as good as anybody in the country. What's it, what's it mean to have your coach say something about you like yeah, that? You know, Coach Key is a person I look up to, you know, immensely. Um, you know, we have a really good relationship, and it means a ton to hear that, you know, hear him say those words. Um, you know, it makes me proud of myself, and, uh, you know, he's, he's a guy that I would run through a wall for, so... Uh, and I'm sure he'd do the same for me. So, you know, it's, it's that great relationship we have, and, you know, it meant everything to hear that from him. Right. On that same subject, he talked, you know, about your blocking. What, what have you gone through in your career to make yourself the blocker you are now? I would say, you know, it started by having to block a lot in the, in the first place. <laughs> Through all my, you know, through the past offenses, and you know, I still, you know, block a ton in this offense too. But um, you know, I think it was established in me, you know, through my first coach when Weezy was still here. Um, you know, he taught me, you know, really the ropes and blocking, and you know, had a, the mindset behind it. Uh, so it's just something I've always taken pride in. Um, I like seeing the guys behind me eat, and it's my pleasure to open up the way for them. Has it started to sink in a little bit? The, the clock's ticking. These are the last couple opportunities. Yeah. And you got a chance to For extend sure, you your know. season, too. You kind of go out there and you're like, oh, it's the second to last or Tuesday, or it's the third to last Tuesday. Uh, so you, can, you, you, know, you start counting down in your head a little bit. And uh, it's definitely, it's definitely uh, you know, sad for me. Uh, but also, you know, we have an opportunity in front of us this week that you know, we haven't ever really had since I've been here. So. It's, it's really exciting, and uh, I'd be lying if I say, you know, this week, you know, it's, it, it means a lot to a lot of people, you know, to get to six wins and get bowl eligible. So uh, I'm really excited that we have that opportunity this week. Anything else? Coach Key said the first time you brought up going to a bowl game was Sunday, but how much had you thought about it before then, and what was kind of your reaction to that conversation? Uh, I mean, not to lie, you know, I thought about it from – you know, the first game, to be honest. You know, it's something, you know, I've been here now five years, haven't gone to one yet. So it would definitely mean a lot just, you know, you know, be able to do that. I think it would be fun. It would be rewarding for the guys, rewarding for the fans, rewarding for the institute. 
Uh, so, you know, it's something I've been thinking, you know, since I've been here, to be honest. You know, it's, I, re I really, really want that bowl game. And, you know, I'm going to do everything I can this Saturday and, you know, the following week to get it. Is it a little bit of it, you know, your legacy and you, you went through one of the toughest periods here and, and survived and really built yourself up, you know, from the ground up here. Is it something that you would like to kind of cap your legacy, get to a bowl yeah. game and have that? It definitely means more. It definitely makes it mean more, the fact that, you know, everything I've put into here and we haven't got it yet. Uh, so I'd be lying if they didn't mean more because of that. Um, but it would definitely cap off, you know, my career here in a, you know, a positive way. And I really just want to get it for, you know, the fans too and just the institute and, um, you know, I'm going to do everything I can. To this, you know, this team's going to do everything they can to get that. So uh, it starts this Saturday. Coach Key has talked about wanting to continue to build that home field advantage. Yeah. As, as a player, are you aware of, uh, you know, being able to have a home field advantage? Yeah, I mean, the UNC last, you know, night home game was – you know, the best, maybe the best I've seen Bobby Dodd since I've been here. Uh, and you can, you know, truly see that the team feeds off of that. Uh, I mean, that was just a hell of an experience, um, you know, last Saturday night and uh, last home Saturday night. And uh, I really, really want, you know, everybody to come back and give us that same experience again because it truly does help us. So we need uh, all the fans and the students to show out, and uh, we're going to put on a show for them. I don't know if you saw what Syracuse did last week on offense, but they used a tight end as a. Yeah. I'm curious if that sparked your imagination or made me put in a <sighs> yeah. call to, to like, Coach Faulkner about snaps, maybe. Uh, <laughs> you know, maybe a little pop pass, something. But yeah, I mean, no, obviously, I'm not going to get that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, hey, they showed it's possible. So I don't know. Maybe maybe Buster will look into it. But <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. It'll be cool though. It'll be cool. <laughs> Anything else? All right, Dylan, thanks. Appreciate it.